This bonus episode is for those of you who are interested in how we provisioned our boat for the first time. We were about to check out of Turkey to head back into Greece, and Turkey was a great place to bulk buy some groceries as it was definitely cheaper than other places in Europe. It was nice to have plenty of provisions and it felt weirdly satisfying having all of this food stocked up on the boat, kind of like we were doomsday prepping or something. We probably went out and bought supplies about five times to get everything we wanted, and we also used a vacuum sealer machine for things like meat and nuts so we could keep them fresh for longer. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, we're all finished with day one provisioning. So we pretty much just got all stuff that we could get on sale here and stocked up on that. Um, and things that are cheaper here than Greece, which is pretty much most things. Um, and like 90% of it is all just stuff that can go in the bilges. Um, we did get a few fresh things. We got halloumi because this was on special for like a $1.60 a packet and it lasts till November anyway. So um, cheddar, you can actually get cheddar more cheddar and grease but it was on special so we thought we'll get stock that up for now heaps of chocolates which was a bit naughty um but jason's going to hide them away from me um because that'll be gone in a week yeah if i have chocolate in the house or in the boat i'll eat it so normally i only buy it when i'm like really craving it but they don't really have much chocolate and grease that we like so um, these, we thought these it's, ones are so good. Yeah, though. it's kind of oh. similar to Cadbury. So. Those ones there are the bee's knees. If you ever come to Turkey, get amongst it. Oh yeah, it's like um, similar to Aero. It's like moussey inside. Um, so this is kind of like caramellos from home. Um, our friends showed us this. Jason's in love with these ones. They're, They're like pretty good. Bruno? Like those ones. Kind of like a bueno. I don't think they are at all, but anyway. They've got like biscuit in them, inside them. They're unreal though. Um, these were only like 30 cents a pack and we tried these on a friend's boat and they were so yum. So we stocked up on those. They're good for if we have like a platter or whatever. Jason decided to try some Migros coffee instead of Nescafe because the Nescafe is really crappy here anyway. It smells honestly like cat pee. <laughs> it's so expensive too. Yeah, and you only get like small sachets of it and they're quite expensive. So this was like a quarter of the price. This was like $2 for this packet. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, these because we like to just have these on hand when we're out sailing if it gets rough and we can't cook anything and don't have anything prepared. They're not that cheap. They're like 70 or 80 cents each, I think, if not a tiny bit more. But, but yeah. Um, our friends showed us this as well, pomegranate molasses. Um, so I've been having this. You can use it for like salad dressing or like in dessert -y kind of things. I've been having it with soda water and sugar syrup with like rum or vodka as a drink or just as a soft drink. It's really yum. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of the other stuff we just got on sale. So this was like 40 cents for a packet of popcorn which is really cheap, so that's always good to have. We got dried chickpeas, which we'd never bought before, um, but we did also get canned as well, because that's just easier to make like hummus and stuff with. Um, because we, I did Google it, and you do have to soak these for like a whole day and then boil them. Um, granola, which we're gonna go and get some more of this, we've decided, because it's only like $2 a packet here, Aussie. Thought we'd try some different granola. Soda water, Pringles, some corn, because that's always good to have on hand. Um, rice, we don't actually eat that much rice, just really when we have like curry, so we didn't buy too much. We've still got some anyway. Chia seeds, which are definitely cheaper here than Greece, although these are also not that cheap and hard to find. We didn't actually get that much pasta because I think it's pretty much just as cheap in Greece and maybe sometimes a bit more choice. So we just got some lasagna sheets. Skewers. Um, these were cheaper in this packet than they were in the can. They were like 60 cents or something, I think, for this. And it's the same quantity as what is in like the big tins of it. Um, so we decided we'd do that. And they still last just as long. That's till like two years away, two and a half years away. Milk, we need to get more of that because they didn't actually have the one that we normally buy, the 3%. So we just got a couple. Um, I think they do actually have fresh cream in Greece, but we're just stocking up because this is just good to have. And 
and it's good. So it's like UHT nice. cream, yeah. Um, and this one, it's cold, actually tastes like real cream. It's not like that really dodgy whipped cream. <laughs> um, we got deodorants on special. They are in the came. I think this is like $2. These were $1.60. $1.60. they're like 5 to 7 bucks. Yeah. These are only 30 cents here. Baby wipes are super cheap. So we're stocking up on these. We're going to go and get some more as well. Um, and then we got just one of our ocean-friendly dishwashing detergent. Fabric softener. Um, paper towels on special at the counter. So we got that. Um, heaps of tin tomatoes. And then we stocked up on heaps of meat. So this should last us like two to three months. Um, so we got lamb shanks. I fill it, which they call bon filet here, um, and lamb cutlets. And the lamb cutlets were quite cheap and it's a really nice butcher. They were $15 a kilo. 14, yeah. 14 15 something like that. Um, which is normally they're about 17 to 18 a kilo here. And you can't find them everywhere, especially in Greece. You can't find I fill it in Greece unless it's like the imported suction packed ones from America. It's and so expensive. I, I didn't think they were that expensive, but it's just like the, the Euro to AUD conversion doesn't help. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go and get maybe some chicken um, and a little bit of mince and then we'll be done with meat. So that will last us ages. Um, and I'm going to suction pack it all and stick it in the freezer. So we'll suction pack it all today um, and then see how it goes, how much it kind of fills up the That's freezer. Is. Yeah. Is and that then, it? And then maybe get some more mince too. And then we're literally set for... For months. months and months. And the good thing is, it's in the freezer, so if we want to go out for a meal, it's not, you know, it doesn't matter. And then we did get a little bit of fresh stuff. We're waiting to go to the markets on Thursday. We thought they were open today, but they weren't. So we just got a few things to get us through till then. So that was included. Limes, these are really hard to find. I think they were hard to find in Greece too. So we got limes as well. Um, but so we bought like five about just over five kilos of i fillet five kilos of lamb cutlets and then four lamb shanks and this came to how much was it uh two thousand lira which is about two hundred dollars aussie yeah 19 190 aussie yeah roughly and then this whole grocery shop costs us 165 dollars i think it was um which we thought was pretty good we thought it was going to be a lot a lot more and we did get a few extra spices. Yeah, if you did this sauce, alone, this, would, this would be like 500 bucks, easy. Yeah, it doesn't go far at home. So yeah, so we thought we'd just stock up while we're here. We have never provisioned before. This is like our first time provisioning. So we don't really know how we've done. So other sailors, <laughs> let us know how we did. Um, and we will take the stickers off the cans that we can. I think these ones you can't. It's actually like the cans printed like that. Which is probably a good thing, I really. I think it's in places with warmer clothes. Yeah, like, so I don't know if we'll really worry. We've never noticed anything. I don't know if that's a bad mistake, but yeah, we'll see, see how we go. go. Like these are things that are in cardboard that are stuck down and stuff too, but we can't really take it out of here. So yeah, so um, we'll just go another day before we leave and go and get some extra things that we've missed that we couldn't get more of, like milk and things, and then we're done. Woohoo! And then just markets for some fresh stuff, but that will obviously only last us like two weeks anyway. And um, we're going to make an effort in Greece to try and find markets. So instead of going to like the shopping center or whatever, we'll just go to the markets. Yeah, all done. Woo! Sinead's so happy. She loves spending money. No, I don't. You're happy. I'm this happy is this is spending money to save money. So we actually got most of it in here. We got all the cleaning products there, which is nice and easy to get to. This is probably the easiest floor to take out. And then all our tin food, granola, just a few little extras there. And then that goes all the tin food all up in there too. So making the most of the space. So I'm gonna vacuum seal all of our meat in like pre-portion sizes now. So even though this isn't the right portion because it's just in glad wrap, I'll um, vacuum seal it and then it kind of stops it getting um, like moisture in there keeps it a little bit nicer so I've got two sizes I think I've usually been using this this is just good for like one chicken breast they're pretty small and then we've got the roll that came with the vacuum sealer so you can actually cut this to the length you want and just seal one side before you put the meat in then seal the other side um, yeah so 
and then what I do is we went and bought like a decent permanent marker and we just write what it is just to keep it simple um, so like if it's chicken we'll write two chicken breasts one chicken breast and then obviously just what these are yeah I'll show you when we're done Okay, so I tried to get this one in here, but you do need like a decent size gap up the top to be able to fit it past this and then into this little section where it um, kind of sucks all the air out and seals it. So now I'm just gonna cut one of these to size so I can fit it in. too long actually so we got our eye fillet our cutlets and a couple of lamb shanks these didn't work they did suction to begin with but i think because of the bones because they're kind of sharp it must have pricked like a little hole but um we're just gonna leave them like that at least they're still in a decent packet and we've only got two lots of those anyway so should be fine and definitely not as expensive as the other stuff so now just to fit it in the freezer it's gonna be fun so what what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of stack it like one of each so we don't have to dig to the bottom to get like to the eye fillets or whatever so then each week we'll have like one of these a week one of these a week and then these just when we feel like it and then when we get our chicken we might have to redo it again but anyway yeah we just fit it all in there so we, we had some mince pastry pizza dough and gnocchi so we had to fit it in there with that. So the ice is not fitting at the moment. And this is like a little fridge section. It doesn't actually cool down as much as the freezer. So anyway, we can stick some more fridge stuff in there. Maybe some cheese and things like that. Packed to the brim. That'll last us a while. Good yep. job. Yep. Now we, have we got room in there? Not much. In the fridge. Yeah. In the fridge is fine, but when we do our fresh stuff, it'll be it'll be full. Yeah. Appa. This will we'll probably do one more little shot before we leave, but that's basically it, I think. We just need to get milk, remember? Yeah. Milk's really cheap here. We can get that at the Sabo. Yeah, we could. It's long life milk though that we're getting. Yeah, long life milk, but it's um it's about sixty five cents a litre, which is insane. I thought you said good speech. No, good speech. Revisioning day three done today. So we're pretty much finished. I think we just need to get some long life milk. Um, so the markets were open today. So we went and got a whole bunch of fresh produce, which obviously most of this, all the fresh stuff is just for the next week or two. 
Um, and then we got some nuts. So I'll suction pack, like vacuum seal some of these away. Um, we spent a bit at the nut place. It was like 45 Australian dollars. They're not really any cheaper here, but they're really young. No, they are cheaper, but they're not much cheaper. I don't think they're cheaper. Seriously. Anyway, who knows? I'll look how much um, pistachios are. Jason's favourite string cheese. That's like a Turkish thing, and it's yum. Bananas, apples. We're going to make stewed apples for breakfast and dessert. Peppers, which I make salsa with, homemade salsa. Strawberries, these are like $2 a punnet. This was only, we got apples and bananas and it came to like $3 and I got 12 apples and like a whole bunch of bananas, really cheap. Kiwi fruit, tomatoes, carrots, pomegranates. So you can juice these as well, they're really nice. Um, that was like a dollar for the cauliflower, which I swear at home they're like three or four, even $5 sometimes. 30 eggs, that costs $5, so we'll pickle the eggs. We thought we tried doing some poached pears. Shit ton of garlic. Okay, <laughs> massive, so massive, massive bunch. That costs like $2.50. And then we got some more stuff um, that was on sale. So these were like 30 cents each, a dollar. I don't think that was on sale, but they're cheap here. Basil, so we can try growing some real basil. These were on sale. So it's always good to stock up on stuff like this. 40 cents, I think. These weren't much. How much are these? Uh, Remember? Two bucks or so. $2. Um, so pistachios in Australia are $28 a kilo, and we got it for like $17.50. A $18 kilo. a kilo. Right, okay. Euro. Oh, there you go. It is cheaper. So, so and they're really, they were really good last time, weren't they? They're really nice. dollars cheaper. Yeah. A kilo. Beer nuts. These are really good. They're like, they kind of taste like the smoked almonds that you can get, you used to be able to get at Woolworths. I don't think you can anymore. How yeah, good's the bargain? It is. I love a bargain. Custard powder. I've never tried this, but you can't buy custard here. So, coconut cream. These are on sale. This is all from the international, like one of the international shops. I think they were $4 a tin on sale instead of like $5. So, definitely cheaper. Still expensive though. It's really hard to get like, some of the international things are just super expensive here. But at least they have places where Greece, we couldn't really find it. Um, it was really hard to find, so. nuts are done. I might leave them out so I can check on them because obviously some of them are a little bit sharp and sometimes when you do sharp object, objects it obviously pokes a little hole in and then air just seeps back in. So I'll leave them out and see how they go but yeah we've got nuts the last bloody six months hopefully. 